Check the forecast on this Thursday. Pretty nice out there, Zach. It is looking very nice. In comparison to what we had this morning, it sure was bright and clear, but cold. Yeah. Yes, it was very cold. <laughs> Downright cold. The 30s in many locations, in fact, but we're already starting to see that rebound. And regardless of where you look, the blue sky has taken over. And that's going to be our trend right through the end of our day as well. So as we make our way into the afternoon hours, we will bounce back to our seasonal averages, a stark difference from where we were earlier this morning. How about 34 degrees in Norwood, 37 in Bedford, but 50 in Boston. While it wasn't as cold, it was still the coldest morning we've seen since late May. And we will stay on this track of very chilly overnight temperatures, not only for tomorrow, but right into our weekend as well. Here's where we currently stand with our temperatures, and we will continue to rise from here on out. But coastal locations will start to stall. The closer you get to the water, the cooler we will be. It's those interior spots that are expected to get back into the upper 60s and low 70s. And first pitch of the Sox game, not far off at 105. It's just picture perfect out towards Fenway. Really no complaints for any outdoor plans that you have this afternoon. And tomorrow is going to be a similar trend, a little bit warmer too. So a taste of summer to finish up our week. Low and mid 80s for most as you move down towards the Cape and the Islands. That's when we drop our temperatures back into the upper 70s. And we keep that trend around for Sunday too. But Sunday seems to be the warmest of the weekend. So you can't really pick or choose between Saturday or Sunday. That being said, we are going to stay in this trend with the ridge of high pressure into early next week. In fact, we're going to to feel the heat for the first official day of fall, which does come on Monday. That will be the warmest of our seven day and the warmest of our month thus far. But with the warm temperatures, people will likely head out towards the sand. If they do so, we have to take this into consideration. The exiting Hurricane Umberto, which is well off to our east, is still going to force some concern to coastal locations. So rip currents and larger waves are expected right through tomorrow evening. Now a category two, it's going to continue to skip up to the north and east and out of our way. We are tracking now Hurricane Jerry earlier this morning at the 5 o'clock update from the National Hurricane Center. It was still a tropical storm. The 11 o'clock update came in as a Category 1, and it will continue to make that easterly turn and move towards Bermuda as we move into next week. So we are anticipating that Bermuda is probably the one location that has a big impact here locally. We don't feel any of the effects of that, but take a look at this 7-day forecast. Nothing but sunshine through the weekend. We continue with that early next Next week, fall officially starts on Monday, not Tuesday, but we stay into the 80s as we go into Tuesday afternoon. Okay.